In this video, we're going to troubleshoot issues that you have with your section dividers that are causing you to not be able to see your section dividers in your table of contents. So there's a couple of different reasons that could be happening. The most common reason is that you've set up your section divider as a title page instead of a section divider page. And I'll show you how to tell the difference. If you go up here to arrange pages, you can see where this right here says section breakfast. But way up here, that's my appetizers, and it says title at the bottom. Let's click on that. Now, you'll see the Create My Cookbook logo at the bottom as well. That is an indication immediately that you have a title page instead of a section divider page. So if we go back to Arrange Pages and we click on our breakfast section, you can see there's no um, cook, Create My Cookbook logo. Um, so let's go back to the appetizers and I'll show you. We're going to click edit. We're going to say layout. Page type should be section divider page. And I love the full photo. We'll go ahead and leave it. Uh, this is my little brother. So we'll leave it with him because he's cute. And we'll go back to arrange pages. You can now see that it says section appetizers. So you want to be able to see that and when you can then you can go back over to the title page and you'll see where appetizers is now bold. It means that this is a section divider. So that's the first reason, the most common. The second reason is when you get fancy with your section dividers, and you can see I don't have any text on this page, but you're like, how? Because the section title is appetizers. So it's kind of cool how you can do this. It's, it's pretty neat because what that allows me to do is I can actually make an image that says appetizers on the front, just like this one that I made in Photoshop. And I can go back to the design tab, go to the section name, and you'll see my font color is actually set to transparent. So if I were to change it to red, you'd be able to see it. But when I change it to transparent, that means I can still have the text. It'll still show up in my table of contents. But I don't have to show it on here, I can use my own text that I've created in another program. So that can also be the cause. Um, I'll show you, for example, if I go over here to the text box and I take out appetizers and hit delete and then hit save, um, you'll go over to, whoops, to your table of contents and you'll be able to tell, now my appetizers page is gone, just disappeared out of thin air. So. You don't want to do that. That could be another reason that it's uh, not showing up for you. So make sure you go in. I'll show you again. Text. I'm going to type appetizers. I go to design. And from the drop down, I'll pick section name. And I'll just want to make sure that my text is transparent, not any other color. Cool. So that should be it. If you have any other problems with your section dividers, if you have trouble, uh, let me know. Send an email to support at createmycookbook.com. We're always happy to help. Thanks.